Okay, hi everybody, it's Charlene from um, Soul Sensibility. So today I'm going to be making hot processed shampoo bars. So I have my oils melting in the crock pot, as you can see. And I've already mixed my lye um, with some aloe vera juice and a little bit of water. And then I'm going to be adding some coconut water to the whole batch once um, my oils are melted. And um, I've also added some sugar. So that is basically my recipe for my hot pot process soap. I'm going to be, or shampoo bar anyways, my hot process shampoo bar. I don't know if I said that it was a shampoo bar. So um, I'm making this because I'm going to be doing a hair show in a couple of weeks and I wanted to sell some shampoo bars. Now because it's a hot process it should be ready in a week but I'm going to give it an extra week to cure. Um, I like to do that. I actually like to let my hot process soaps cure for the full four weeks but I know it's not necessary. So. Once this melts and I'm ready to um, pour the lye and mix it, I will be back with that. Okay. okay guys, I'm back and as you can see all the oils have melted. So I'm going to just um, pour in my lye, then pour in my coconut milk, and then start blending. So um, I'm going to do that. Okay. in the sink and then <coughs> and start blending that up well let me add the coconut milk before it gets thick because that is a part of the water component all of that out. Or as much as possible. There we go. Well, it's already kind of thick. So I just want to make sure that there's no oil kind of floating around, that all the oil has been incorporated. And then I'm going to scrape down the sides and cover it and let it sit. So you have scraped down the sides. So I'm just going to put the lid on and I'm going to let that sit until um, it folds in on each other or folds in on itself and then it bubbles up because we're looking for it to be like a Vaseline kind of thick gel stage and then once it's reached that point okay then I so this has been cooking for about an hour um, I did a phyllo phenothalin test with this phenothalin here and it tested clear so I would say that it's really neutralized and about ready to go in the mold so you can see how translucent that is um, well besides they're still soft enough that I can scrape it down. Um, if it was hard, then we wouldn't want to scrape it down to have the hard bits. I'm going to add some more oils here to super fat it. Let me mix those in. And I'm going to add some hard oils, which will melt with the heat. While that's melting, I'm going to get my mold ready, pour in my fragrance once it's cooled down a bit, and then um, pour in the okay, mold. So, so this I'll is the only time um, in my hot processing that I'm going to take the temperature. 
and it is 196 so I think that's a little too hot to um, put my fragrance in so I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit more and then I'm going to be ready to pour my fragrance oil and then pour it right in the mold right away okay, okay I'll so back. I am impatient so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this fragrance oil in right now mix it up so that is the fragrance oil in mm, smells good make sure I mix that up because I want it to um, remain pretty fluid when I'm putting it in the mold so we've got still some chunks of cocoa butter yeah that looks like some chunks of cocoa butter yay well I kind of like that um, throughout try not to get that at the sides too much because I don't want to have to scrape too much of the hard stuff down into the soap okay so now with hot process it's going to be a little chunky anyways so I'm just going to use my spatula to kind of scoop it into my mold um, you won't be able to see that actually let me just switch manage points because you don't really need let me see if I can zoom in without making that too um, Now because this is a shampoo bar, mm, smells good, Woo. Oh, what was I going to say, because this is a shampoo bar, I'm not really keen on it smelling too strong, I know a lot of people like strong fragrances for their hair, but um, I don't, because I use the fragrance oil, so. I'm going to bang that out. Plastic wrap. And I'm going to put the plastic wrap over the top so that I can just pat that in. Make sure it's everything is. all in the mold how I want it with a bit of overflow let me shape that up shape it up shape it up and that part at the top here is going to give it some character and that's fine with me and there we go. That's it. My shampoo bar. So 